Hey guys, this is Big Dogs Porting over here. This is Tony at the um, controls. And today we're going to embark on a little uh, test. And that test consists of another engine build. Now, this engine build is going to, going to be kind of unique. The reason why um, we're going to take an Explorer motor. Okay, and we're going to use all of the parts that came with the motor, which is the cylinder heads, the intake manifold, the 65 millimeter throttle body. And we're going to build a 306, basically this 306. Now, this is basically an Explorer motor that's been to the machine shop, and we went with a flat top piston, okay, and this has a 30 thousandths of an inch overboard, nothing else. The bottom end is reconditioned stock. Um, we are going to put, uh, I believe this one already has them in there. Nope. The rods are stock and the bolts are stock. So we're going to change those out to ARP bolts. We're going to change the mains out to ARP bolts and the um the rods out to air people's i believe the rods were already already changed at the machine shop i know the mains weren't because we like to do that here I like to get them back and do the mains ourselves but this block has been machined um we painted it new cam bearings main and rod bearings we have um the actual oil pump that came with this motor, um, the Explorer oil pump, took it apart and freshened it up, the oil pump, kind of rebuilt it. I mean, it really didn't need anything but some cleaning. Um, made sure everything was okay. We're going to use um, an aftermarket timing chain, of course, and we're going to use this right here, which is a factory 1991 Ford 5.0 camshaft. We're not going to use an aftermarket cam. We're going to use this factory cam here. And we're going to see how much power we can make with the factory parts. Pretty much, we're going to build a motor that Ford should have built as far as it's 302. Now, the cylinder heads, we are going to work them. We're going to do a stage three. Now, we don't offer stage three big valve and the GT40 heads anymore as far as for sale um, because it's just not cost effective with the price of you know um, the valves and all the associated hardware you know it just raises the price of the stage 3 port work on these GT40 and GT40P heads to where you know we can pretty much offer you know uh, a ported AFR Enforcer, a ported Brodex STR, a ported Flowtech um, for a little bit more, but you get a lot more um, flow. But for this particular build, we're going to do stage three on the GT40 heads. They were actually GT40s, not the P's. So we're going to put oversized stainless steel valves 
We're not going to go a 190, 160. We're going to we're going to go a 194, 160. We're going to back cut the intake valves. We're going to do a five angle valve job on the cylinder heads. Um, we're going to max port them. Now our max porting may usually flow with a 190 valve. They usually top out at about 600 thousandths, right around 250 on our flow bench. Um, we've gotten some to do 254, but that was, I'm not doing that anymore. <laughs> that took too much time and, and, you know, it's, you know, no, I'm not doing that anymore. Uh, and besides we won't need it because, um, um, we're going to also do a stage three on the Explorer intake manifold. Okay, and we're going to install the factory Ford cam. Now, you guys, I know you guys are saying, oh, that camshaft is not going to make power. Well, if we install it straight up, of course, it's not going to make that much power, but we're not going to install it straight up. We're going to retard this cam between 8 to 10 degrees to maximize the mid to upper RPM range. So we're going to stretch that cam out so we can take advantage of the cylinder head flow and the intake manifold flow. We're going to use the factory rocker arms. Okay, we're not going to change the rocker arms to the roller. We're going to use the factory rocker arms. We're going to use the factory push rods that came with the motor. Like I said, we're going to use the factory oil pump that came with the motor. I'm not going to get a new oil pump. You guys are saying, not a new oil pump. You're going to blow that motor up? No, we took the oil pump apart and, you know, went through it. Same way with the rocker arms. Uh, we're going to use the lifters that came out of this motor. The factory Explorer lifters. We've taken them all apart. We've cleaned them. We've inspected those lifters. Make sure they're up to par. Okay. Um, we're going to use the factory throttle body. Now, it's not the exact throttle body that came with this motor because that one was damaged um, when the motor was shipped here. But we have plenty of factory 65 millimeter throttle bodies. And we're going to port them. You know, you, you guys have seen our videos and you've seen how much flow we gain by porting and modifying those throttle bodies. We're going to use, of course, um, when this motor goes to the dyno, hopefully um, we can get somebody there when they strap it down to actually do a video and not just provide dyno numbers to actually do a video as well as the dyno numbers um that way you guys can see how they set it up with the terminated x system um we're going to use 30 pound an hour injectors we're not going to use the factory injectors because it won't be enough um trust me <laughs> this motor is going to make some, some good power so the factory 19s is not going to be enough we're going to use 30s um, we're going to use the factory fuel rail. Okay, we're going to clean it up. We modify those fuel rails to flow more fuel. Um, just in case you guys, you know, were interested to knowing that. We're going to use the factory distributor. Not going to use a MSD. We're going to use the factory distributor. We're going to use factory spec spark plugs. Like I said, we're going to use our, our headers, our ported stainless steel headers. Um, but um, that's pretty much it. And we're going to see how much power we, we, we can make with this motor. We're going to see if this motor can make, you know, um, 350 horsepower, 375 horsepower, maybe 400 horsepower. Maybe 430. <laughs> you guys are saying 430 with fact. No, no way. Trust me, this is big dogs performance. <laughs> yeah, 
yes, you know, we we can get them to do that. But like I said before, this one's going to have factory parts that's ported. Now, everything is going to be ported. I wouldn't say to the max, but we're looking for maximum effort um, with the factory parts. So we're going to work that manifold. We're going to work those cylinder heads. We're going to work that throttle body. Like I said, this camshaft is going to go in and be retarded 8 to 10 degrees. Um, and everything else is pretty much high flowing parts. So it's going to be an interesting little series. This is just the introductory of this series. To let you guys know, we got a couple of other motors here. Some Chevy motors and some more Ford motors. Um, we have another bill coming up. Um, it's a 351 stroker. It's going to be either a 393 or a 408. And um, we'll give you guys the details when, when that one comes back from the machine shop. But once again, this is Big Dogs Porting and we need to come up with a name for this project. Um, what about Project um, Max Max Stalker? I don't know. You guys, let me know in the comment section. Well, you know, a nice little title for this um, particular project. Um, once again, as always, see you guys at the track.